The legendary A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog, has established itself as one of the most formidable close air support aircraft in history. Designed specifically for the demanding role of providing close air support to ground forces, the A-10 has undergone numerous upgrades over the years, further enhancing its capabilities and ensuring its relevance on the modern battlefield. From improved avionics and weapon systems to enhanced survivability features, the A-10 Thunderbolt II continues to evolve showing that it is still warthogging its way through modern warfare. Is the A-10 Thunderbolt's reputation as a legendary aircraft deserved, or is it merely a product of nostalgia or sentimental attachment? The A-10 Warthog embodies the evolving demands of warfare during its inception. As the Vietnam conflict progressed, it became evident that the U.S. military required a fresh breed of ground attack aircraft. These aircraft needed to be swifter and sturdier, capable of delivering firepower to the battlefield, while evading enemy threats. While the U.S. Army pursued the development of attack helicopters starting with the AH-1 Cobra and eventually leading to the AH-64 Apache, the Air Force sought an alternative solution. Recognizing the inadequacy of existing prop-driven attack planes, they embarked on a different path, and thus the A-10 Warthog was born. Did you know that Warthog has featured in many movies like Courage Under Fire, Jarhead, Transformers, Terminator Salvation, Iron Sky, Man of Steel, etc.? What is your favorite Warthog screen appearance? The A-10 Thunderbolt is a twin-engine close-air support aircraft that has been manufactured by Fairchild Republic, now part of Northrop Grumman, for the U.S. Air Force. It has played a significant role in various military operations, including Operation Desert Storm, NATO operations during the Kosovo Crisis, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. The USAF currently operates a total of 281 A-10 aircraft distributed among the USAF, Air Combat Command ACC, Air Force Reserve, and the Air National Guard. These aircraft encompass different variants such as A-10, A-10C, OA-10, and Reserve A-10. The A-10 made its first flight in May 1972, and a total of 713 aircraft were produced until the end of production in 1984. Over the years, the A-10 has undergone several upgrades to enhance its capabilities. In June 2007, Boeing was awarded a $2 billion contract for the A-10's wing replacement program, resulting in increased durability and efficiency with the installation of new wings on 173 aircraft. Additionally, Boeing received contracts for modernizing the A-10 fleet, including the A-10 aircraft structural integrity program, and updating the aircraft's avionics architecture. In August 2019, Boeing secured a $999 million contract for sustainment work on the A-10, involving the production of new wing assemblies and kits. The company collaborated with Korean Aerospace Industries and other suppliers for this project. Furthermore, CPI Aerostructures and Cayman Aerospace Group were selected for manufacturing, structural assemblies, and wing control services respectively as part of the A-10 wing replacement program. The A-10 Thunderbolt's evolution continues with ongoing projects. In August 2020, the Southwest Research Institute SWRI and Sabre Liner Aviation received a contract for structural analysis and maintenance work on the A-10. In June 2022, Raytheon Intelligence and Space RINS was chosen to modernize the A-10 by replacing its mission computer with a common open secure mission computer COSMIC, offering enhanced processing capabilities. Terma North America was awarded a contract in October 2019 to supply a new 3D audio system for the A-10 improving situational awareness and reducing pilot stress. This system, known as the Terma Aircraft Audio Management System, will replace the legacy audio management system and is supposed to be completed by 2024. Did you know that the A-10 Thunderbolt underwent a fascinating precision engagement upgrade program? These upgrades are aimed at enhancing the aircraft's precision, target engagement capabilities, and equipping it with advanced features. Imagine the ability to deploy position weapons like Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM and Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser allowing for highly accurate strikes on targets. But that's not all the upgrades also included innovative technologies such as hands-on throttle and stick control, multifunction cockpit displays, situational awareness data links, and a digital stores management system. It's like giving the A-10 a high-tech makeover. Additionally, the integration of targeting pods like Sniper XR and Lightning, along with a helmet-mounted sighting system, further amplified the aircraft's precision-guided weapon capabilities. 
Can you picture the pilot wearing night vision goggles and utilizing the infrared imaging display for the Maverick AGM-65 missile? It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. One of the key strengths of the A-10 is its suitability for operations from forward air bases. With its short takeoff and landing capability, the aircraft can operate effectively in austere conditions, including unprepared or damaged runways. This flexibility enables it to be deployed closer to the action, providing critical support to ground forces in a timely manner. The A-10's long range and high endurance are particularly noteworthy. These qualities allow the aircraft to loiter in the battle area for extended periods, providing continuous support and maintaining a vigilant presence. This extended loiter time enhances its ability to respond quickly to emerging threats and changing operational requirements. What provides the A-10 with such accurate precision? The Pave Penny Laser Target Pointer. It is an important component of the A-10 Thunderbolt II's targeting system. It plays a crucial role in guiding precision-guided munitions to their intended target. The Pave Penny Laser System consists of a laser designator pod attached to the aircraft's fuselage. It emits a laser beam that can be directed towards the desired target on the ground. This laser beam provides a precise reference point for the aircraft's weapons, such as laser-guided bombs or missiles, to accurately home in on the designated target. Talking about the weapons on the Warthog, it is equipped with an impressive array of weapon systems and ordnance. The 11-store pylons provide a substantial external load capacity of 7,260 kg, allowing for a wide range of munitions to be carried. The A-10 can carry up to 10 Mavericks air-to-surface missiles that utilize imaging infrared guidance and have a range of over 45 km. These missiles are capable of striking ground targets with high accuracy and are equipped with warheads designed for different purposes, including high penetration capabilities. In addition to missiles, the A-10 can carry the Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile for self-defense against airborne threats. It is also equipped with 2.75-inch rockets for additional air-to-ground firepower. The aircraft's ordnance capabilities are extensive. It can deploy various bombs, such as the LDGP MK-82 and MK-84 series, as well as general-purpose bombs weighing 226 kg. It can also carry cluster bombs, like the Blue 1 and Blue 27B Rock I-2, Cluster Bomb Unit CBU-5271, Combined Effects Munitions, and Mine Dispensing Munitions. Laser-guided and electro-optically guided bombs provide enhanced accuracy for precise targeting. To enhance targeting capabilities, the A-10 can utilize the Northrop Grumman Lightning ER Targeting Pod. This pod incorporates advanced features such as thermal imaging, CCD TV, laser spot tracking and range finding, IR marking and laser designation. At the heart of the A-10's firepower is the formidable General Dynamics GAU-8A Avenger 30mm cannon, mounted in the nose of the aircraft. This cannon is capable of disabling main battle tanks at a distance exceeding 6,500 meters. It can fire various ammunition types, including armor-piercing incendiary rounds weighing up to 0.75 kg or uranium-depleted API rounds weighing 0.43 kg. The cannon's magazine holds an impressive 1,350 rounds and the pilot can select a firing rate of either 2,100 or 4,200 rounds per minute. Finally, the cost of this legendary aircraft. A-10 Thunderbolt II has a baseline expense of approximately $13.4 million per aircraft. This cost encompasses various factors, including the initial purchase price, fees associated with training, and transfer costs from the defense contractor to the purchaser. However, the cost of the A-10 extends beyond its initial acquisition. Ongoing repairs and upgrades are necessary to ensure the aircraft maintains its peak performance and remains effective on the battlefield. These additional expenses must be taken into account when considering the total cost of owning and operating the A-10 Warthog. The A-10's reputation as a legendary aircraft is well-deserved and goes beyond nostalgia or sentimental attachment. Its status is primarily attributed to its exceptional performance and capabilities in the field of close air support. Its distinctive features, such as the GAU-8 Avenger 30mm cannon and heavily armored cockpit, make it highly effective in its role. Can you think of a modern aircraft that could compete with A-10 Thunderbolt II?